So let's say how can we build first class. So class is the blueprint, just like the design of a building. In Python, the syntax is first we need to mention class. So that's why it is being mentioned. And this is the name of the class. Let's say person class. So we are talking about person class. Now a person has several attributes. Like as we know, it, uh, it can have a name, it can have age, and it can have a profession. So this is the way to mention those things in Python. In another object-oriented programming, this could be different. But the main thing here, what we can say, that these are different attributes of person class. So name is the attributes, age is another attributes, profession is another attributes. And if you want to know more what this function do, this is the initialization function. That means this function helps us to initialize the objects. So we are saying that the name, whatever we supply, that will be saved as its name value. And similarly, age will be saved as, you know, the uh, attributes named as age and profession as well. So normally, just uh, from this, what you must need to understand that we are saying that name, age, and profession are three attributes of person class. That's all. So we created the class, as I was saying, and we, the init is just like the initializer. Now, we know that we create object using class. So class was the blueprint, and then we create object. So if you notice here, and here we are basically creating the object or instance. So first object is prsn1, let's say person1. So how we are creating, we are first saying the person, that is the class name. And as I was saying that we have the initializer, so where we can supply this name, age, and profession. Forget about self. This is just required for here, forget about it. Uh, other than self, just consider this. So name, age, and profession. So this Rofik Alum, this is the name, and then 34 is the age, and profession is doctor. So just like the function call in C programming, we are basically creating the first object and the attributes like its name, age, and its profession are being supplied. And similarly, we created another object, like if the name is person, I mean the class was person, and then its name is uh, Sabita Hassan, age is 28, and he is an engineer. So this is creating objects. So far we created two objects here. So from the person class, we created two object. Now, what do we have? Let's say I need to print the first person's name. I mean, this is basically showing the attributes. So we know that uh, we define the attributes as name, age, and profession. So if we provide prsn1.name, so it will be printing this name, Rofi Kalum. So that's the Rofi Kalum is being printed here. And similarly, if you print uh, prsn1.as, then 34 will be printed. And if you print prsn1.profession, then doctor will be printed and so on. So this is very similar to our structure concept. Like in structure, what we do? We basically use the member operator, dot operator, right? So we know that our syntax was first the structure variable name, dot the member element what we want to access. Now here, our structure variable is basically, you know, synonymously, this is basically the object. So that's why the object dot, the operator, then we have this name, that means this attribute. So if we call name, it will be printing name. If we call profession, it will be printing the profession. So this is the, uh, we can say, very simplest uh, example where we created the person class and from that person class, we basically created two object, person one and person two. Now, uh, let's say, what do you mean by class variables and object variables? Now, so far, what we declared, we call them instance variables, like this name, person or not name. So this, we may say that name variable name variable of person one, right? Similarly, this would be the age variable of person one. So we know that person one, person two, these are different objects. 
so that's why these are the objects variable or instance variable but we can also have class variable so what do you mean by it when we declare a variable within the class so this is the variable declaration in python in python we did not need to mention like whether it is integer and so on integer character and so on python is very much user friendly in many cases like uh, you don't need to provide any semicolon at the end okay so uh, there is no semicolon here and also we need not need to mention whether it is integer character and so on so this is very simple in this respect actually anyway moving on as i was saying that we are declaring now a variable within the class so if you notice this brain is a variable uh, it specifically this is a string variable and the variable is i have brain so this particular variable we are calling this is the variable of a class or class variable whereas this name is these are object variable so this can be varied for different object just like our previous example that has been also showed here like this rofi column this is the person on dot name and this sabit hasan this is basically the person two dot name so the name variable for different object these are different so that's why this is the object variable could be different for different object but the uh, in class variable like here is shown brain so that will be the same across all these instances like if you print person on dot brain it will be printing i have brain and if you print person 2 dot brain it will also be printing i have brain so here we just noticed the differences between class variable and instance variable so if i again mention that class variable means that value will be same for all the instances that is being created from that class whereas object variables or instance variable means that they will be different for different objects okay uh, moving on next what do we have so so far if you notice we basically consider the attributes i mean uh, the name is and so on but we didn't consider any uh, methods so we didn't consider any behavior till now we considered the data which was very similar to structure i mean that same thing we can do it using structure concept but now we will move into methods like as i was saying that structure cannot have any method within itself but class can have so if you notice here in the same thing i mean this portion is very same to our previous case now we are defining two function in python def is basically uh, written to define a function this is the short form of define so we are defining two function here one is the talk about you function so in the talk about function we are basically printing uh, like printing hi my name is self dot name means uh, just like in c program what you write you write percent s then you you probably write name right name something so in python this is like this we can achieve using this way like if you mention self dot name that means whatever the name you are supplying here that thing will be substituted here like my name is if it is trophy column it will be printed my name is trophy column then i am the age here so so age will be the value that is being provided from the object and i am the profession let's say so this is one function name talk about you and we have another function name it so it has also you know two methods i mean okay so parameters regarding parameters so it has self is and it should be there so that's why just as i was saying just forget about self and also we are not learning python so let's not discuss about it now food so we are basically supplying another argument or we will be supplying another argument in this eat function so that's why we mentioned the variable as food and we are printing i am going to eat that food so if it is you know uh, rice then it will be rice or if, if it is apple then it will be apple and so on so let's 
uh, see how we can call these methods. So, so far what we declared, now this is completely a class, you may say. So, it has these are different, okay, so these are different attributes, okay, and then these are different, you know, the different methods or we can say different behaviors. So, now let's see how can we execute those behaviors. So first of all, just like our previous case, we are just declaring first to object. Then we'll be using this object. So person on name Rofi Kalom S34 and profession doctor and Sabita Hassan the same as before. Now if we call those functions, so how can we call? Just like normal variable calling, like uh, if you want to call the name variable, what do we do? We write person1 here sn1 dot name. So that is the way to call a properties or attributes. Now to call a uh, behavior or to call a function or to call a method, all the synonymous term here, just same, just uh, the same as calling the variable. Like here, person one dot talk about you. So talk about you, the function name. And since it is only self, that means it is not being taking any other uh, arguments or any other parameters. So that's why we need not need to supply anything. So person one talk about you. So if you call this function, then what happens? So that thing will be executed. So what do we have here? Hi, my name is self.name. So what is name? Rafi Kalam. So my name is Rafi Kalam and I am self.as. So as is given 34 years. So I am 34 years old and I am self.profession. So profession is doctor. So I am doctor. That's all. Now same uh, function talk about to you. Now if we call that function from person 2. So of course here the name is and, dif uh, and the profession are different. So that's why the same function, but the result will be different now. If you notice, hi, my name is Sabit Ahasan. So the self name is now Sabit Ahasan. Since I called this particular talk about you from person to object. So that's why it is being printed like my name is Sabit Ahasan. I'm 28 years old and I'm engineer. And lastly, if we call this eat method, so if we call from person1, so person1.eat, now of course I need to supply the variable food here because food is not the uh, attributes of this particular functions or uh, so, I mean this particular class. So here we are supplying the food we want to print like uh, here our syntax was I am going to eat the food. So when I am supplying person one eat vegetables, then it will be printing, I'm going to eat vegetables. And if I provide a pizza, then it will be printing, I'm going to eat pizza. That's all. 